O'Reilly is tracking the progress too, and this is a pretty rare event. I mean, it's been, as we said, 22 years since Hawaii's really got this. They usually get those tropical breezes, but this is a category up. Right, yeah, and in fact, it just made landfall uh, within the last half hour. You can see here the latest satellite and radar bringing the heavy rainfall and the winds into the big island right now, so it's officially made landfall as a tropical storm. And as we go ahead and look at the wind field, you notice two colors here with the color codes. We have uh, some pretty extensive uh, winds. Uh, coming into the Big Island right now. Tropical storm winds for the area shaded in orange and then tropical depression winds up to around 39 miles per hour. But you can see how large this wind field is currently in the area. Of course, gusts will be higher. So right now we're at 60 miles per hour as it does make landfall. It's moving to the west at 11 miles per hour. It's been pretty slow moving in. So of course, we're watching the potential for heavy rainfall anywhere maybe 8 to 11 inches of rainfall in the area. In addition to to some flooding problems and those wind gusts. Now this is going to hit some colder water as it moves out towards the west and as it does we're going to see that decrease and weaken. So by Saturday here's 8 o'clock giving estimates to about 35 miles per hour as it uh, becomes a tropical depression. Now further East, we're watching Hurricane Julio. Now, right now it's a category three with winds sustained at 120 miles per hour, moving to the west northwest at 16 miles per hour. And if you look at the track of this, it is expected to pass towards the north of Hawaii. So that is the good news there. It is expected to weaken to category one by Saturday, 8 o'clock, looking at winds at about 90 miles per hour. So this is going to be something we'll watch as it gets closer, but right now expecting that to uh, pass toward the north. Now at home this morning, Morning. We are waking up with some clouds in the area, some mid to high level clouds, pretty comfortable temperatures, 53 degrees in Beaverton. We're at 55 downtown and Vancouver, 59 for you out in Astoria and Salem this morning, waking up at 56. The Dow's smoky areas, of course, with a fire. Uh, we're 64 degrees right now. As we look at the latest satellite and radar, we have some mid level clouds, like I mentioned, passing through. This is with an upper level uh, trough, nothing in the way of moisture with this. So we're going to continue to see a dry day for today. In fact, Act. As we look at the specifics for uh, the Rowena area for the fire, we're expecting relative humidity levels to still be quite low. In fact, between about 25 and 35 percent winds this afternoon, expecting to be between about 25 and 35 miles per hour. So the gusts are going to be up there. We're just not getting any relief. In fact, we have that fire weather warning continuing until 11 o'clock this evening. So the coast are going to see morning clouds, maybe a little bit of drizzle, but you will get some gradual clearing in the afternoon for the valley. We'll see mostly sunny skies in the afternoon with temperatures in the low to mid 80s. The further south you go, the Dow's expect to be about 86 degrees in Pendleton 87. It will be breezy east of the mountains and through the gorge areas of smoke. So of course you have respiratory issues. That's going to be a major issue for you. Now we're going to heat things up as we get into Sunday and Monday. Notice how temperatures start to climb into the lower 90s, but I'm going to be talking about potential maybe thunderstorms coming in the valley on Monday into Monday evening and Tuesday. Something we're going to have to watch closely, but we have a little bit of instability coming in, so we could see a little bit of action coming at that time period. Not done with the 90s just yet. Not yeah, yet. It'll no. feel like the South or something, know, right? Know, like right. we live in Texas or yeah. something. Yeah. Hey, we got a commercial fire going on on the southeast side of town, uh, southeast Grand and Ash. It is a two alarm commercial fire. I've seen a lot of uh, fire trucks going over the Morrison Bridge. In fact, I've been checking all of our ODOT cams trying to get